I'm Rob Stavinga. I'm the Watershed Resources Technician at Kawartha Conservation and this week we are out looking for the Eastern Kingbird, also known by its Latin name Tyrannus tyrannus. So the Eastern Kingbird was given its name uh, Tyrannus tyrannus because it is considered the tyrant of tyrant flycatchers. Um, it's one of my favorite birds because it will defend its territory against all comers all other kingbirds, all other um, birds that are trying to nest in the area, and even against hawks and owls and whatever comes its way. So uh, for that reason, I really like this bird. Um, it also changes its behavior when it comes to our part of the world. It becomes the tyrant in North America, and when it heads back down to South America, it becomes a much friendlier bird. It flies around in flocks, and uh, it tends to eat fruit, whereas here it's a, an insect eater, so it's a killer when it's in our part of the world. Um, you can often find kingbirds in the type of area that I'm in today, so we're sort of on uh, the edge of fields where there's fence rows and things like that, and flycatchers exhibit a really interesting behavior, especially kingbirds. They do what's called hawking, so instead of a lot of birds that are smaller, like um, the warblers that we have in this area, they spend their time in the trees, in the foliage, hunting for insects and sort of tucked away where you can't see them that well. The kingbird does a lot of its hunting and its uh, foraging out in the open. So they're a great bird to observe in open country. And there's lots of open country in the city of Kawartha Lakes. So when you're looking for an eastern kingbird, you're looking for a dark, almost black bird, and it has a tiny tiny bit of red on its head that's how it got its name the kingbird because it's a red crown on its head and when it's angry it flashes that red crown and it opens its mouth um, it also has a red interior to its mouth so it's probably one of the scare tactics it uses to uh, defend its territory they also have a thin white band of feathers at the tip of their tail so you can notice there's um, sort of a line and they have a white breast they also are sort of a a stocky bird with a short bill, and the short bill's good for, it's flat and wide for hunting insects. So as I go through bird of the week, there may be a number of questions that arise that I haven't answered. If you'd like to ask a question about any particular bird or any type of bird behavior, then you can email us at communications at and I'd be happy to try and answer your question as best as I can.